And Godofredo does exactly what his, what his personality and his expression, the way he's been behaving, seem to indicate, and that is get on it right away. But he goes to the ground. Takedown that gets reversed. <laughs> but we talked about he is an extremely comfortable guard player in a world of uncomfortable guard players. And another takedown. Watch. Let's see if he's able to capitalize on it now, to being on top. So part of the game of being a great guard player starts with being a good uh, regarder, somebody who can get the guard. And right now the Lazy King is just too lazy to be in that guard. His foot seems to be stuck in his shorts. Yeah, it is. And these are the unpredictable elements of the game. And there it is. As soon as the toe freed from the short, the ref just does what, what you should do. Great job by Mark. Yep. Mark's been doing a great job all night. I miss him on the, on the mic, though. Uh, and Godofredo now is, we talked about it, he's a guard specialist. Uh, we, you listed the submissions that he's landed from here. He's a lost art right now. Of course, in the guard, the reason it is an offensive position is you have segmented the body of your opponent, so you are attacking his upper body using all four of your limbs. So he's got two limbs where you have four. Abdul's doing a great job at changing the angles and really cutting off uh, Godofredo's yes. hips and not being able to help him like create any openings. It's really hard to create anything when there it is on the plata. On the plata. Lazy King. Oh, reversal now. And he's got a leg. The Lazy King is coming up now. He's got the legs from the other side. Reverse underneath. He'll swim and try to. Oh, this is crazy. Inverted triangle. <laughs> An inverted triangle and from he's... here. Oh, he's in a nope. really yeah. awkward position. Yeah. Really hard yeah. to get out. Inverted triangle arm bar. Oh. Inverted triangle arm bar. And that's he's that's uncut. amazing. Yeah. Unreal. Oh, my God. Unreal. Nothing lazy about that. That sequence was so sick. Beautifully, beautifully done by him. We want to see that again. Now watch this man celebrate. He may be lazy right up until these moments, but watch him now. <laughs> He's a bat. He's an acrobat. He's the dancer. Woo! That was sweet. That was really sweet. When you saw from that guard position, there was a reversal and sort of a, a French braid of flesh and bone as he worked his way to the back. And then you watch what he did with his lower appendages and set up a triangle from underneath while attacking the armbar. We'll get to see another look at it. Veronica, do you think he'll be lazy when uh, they give him the belt? He's not lazy now. He hasn't been lazy all night. No, he's a lovable, lovable character. Okay, let's take a look. So this is where it's ended now. There is an inverted triangle from underneath. Now you see the left arm. So see the left arm? He's got a hold of the left arm. So the neck is being choked by the legs. And right now the left arm being extended and the shoulder being attacked. So that is a kimura from the... Almost like a crucifix, crucifix position. position. Yeah. So a lower body inverted triangle from a crucifix position while attacking the Kimura. Yeah, that was sweet. That was sweet. Nothing lazy about that. Veronica, you're going to get to hold this belt. Ladies and feel. gentlemen, the bout ends at two minutes, six seconds of the opening round. We have a tap out. Your winner by submission, the reverse triangle choke. And now, Aris Welterweight Champion, the Lazy King, Abdul Abdurrahima. 